Hi folks, this is all the fruit, and here I have some strange white largish whitish melon. And that's where the problem started. You see, I got it in a supermarket, but for some reason it had no name, no price, no nothing, and the cashiers also had no idea what this melon is. I've seen it before a couple times, but it's definitely a pretty rare melon in Germany. Well, so I bought it, I paid for a cantaloupe melon, which this definitely is not. But I guess this would have been more expensive than a cantaloupe melon, so probably this was a bargain for me. And then I turned to the internet for help. Well, I googled white melon in English, German, Spanish, and came up with a couple results which kind of fit the description, but not really. Well, there was the white Portuguese melon, which looks kind of similar. Also, there is the Melon Blanco de Riva Tejo. Yeah, I think it was Melon Blanco de Riva Tejo from Spain, which looked uh, kind of similar. However, when you look for description of the varieties and also for pictures, basically you get combinations of every name with every picture. This Melon Blanco de Ribatejo, well, Ribatejo, Ribatejo, yeah. Um, basically, it's being shown without this reticulated skin. Also, one side's, yeah. Uh, mentioned explicitly the fine tender skin this is not fine or tender this is a little bit netted or reticulated so let's try and find out which variety it is well it's definitely not the variety in odorus because it smells so it could be the variety reticulatus or cantalupensis more probably reticulatus, because I don't see those typical cantalupensis patterns, but more just reticulated patterns. But it looks more like an Inodorus melon, the size and the shape and everything. And also in some Spanish site, I saw that there are some hybrids, which look kind of similar to this. So could this maybe be a reticulatus Inodorus hybrid? I don't know. I decided not to wait until there is a, a name and the price tag on it in some other supermarket because A, it's a pretty rare melon and B, I kind of have the suspicion they will just call it white melon or white Spanish melon. So, let's look inside what color does the flesh of this melon have. Most of those white melons they were supposed to have also quite whitish flesh tinged with a little bit of yellow. Oh, I am not so good at cutting fruit with one hand anymore. So let's see. Oh yeah, whitish, yellowish, yeah. Like towards the skin it's whitish. This thin piece here also looks whitish. But the inside kind of looks yellowish, yellowish orangish. Well, hmm, hmm, hmm. It's definitely ripe. It might even have started to ferment slightly. This translucent look and also this kind of, yeah, alcoholic tingle on my tongue. Well, I see this, at least the um, central part of the melon is orangish, but of course my phone again shows it as something which is not orange, but more going towards yellowish, greenish, brownish. Hmm. Hmm, really tasty, but definitely starting to ferment, a little bit alcoholic. Hmm. Well, those melons 
You have quite a hard skin, so sometimes they could already be a little bit fermenting on the inside and you don't realize that unless you cut them. Well, the inside, yeah. Well, first thing, the inside is also kind of reticulated. Here, you can really, you can really see the veins inside the, yeah. The, those veins in the fruit. I mean, the phone, you don't see them as clearly as I can see them. That's strange. But I think you can kind of see them. I also see them pretty well here, but on the phone, they are not that clear. Well, hmm. So the inside, yeah, looks a little bit like a a little bit like an Inodorus, a little bit like a Reticulatus, it really could be a hybrid. I don't really know and I was too lazy to continue my search after like half an hour. So folks, if you have an idea what this tasty whitish melon is, please write me. Until then, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the shops and supermarkets of Germany. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.